Hello ladies, <laughs> it is me Ruby Red Wife or Mama Wannabe if you followed me back in the day. I'm just here coming in for the, my first video that I made of the year, I'm so excited. Um, anyway, I am just here to let you guys know that I am not pregnant, <laughs> I wish, um, but no. Uh, and I'm actually happy that I'm not pregnant right now with this state and at this weight that I'm at. So anyway. I just wanted to come on and let you guys know that I am going to be sharing my um, my weight loss journey with you guys. Sorry about that. Um, and I'm very excited about it. I'm taking it a lot more serious than I would have before. Um, and I'm actually doing it. That's what I'm so... I'm proud of myself because I'm actually doing it. And I want you guys to come along on the journey with me. I want you guys to see... Um, where I am now and where I will be in the future. What I've been doing actually on my phone is I've been, excuse me, I've been um, taking videos, um, making videos on my phone of how I feel and what I ate and and things like that. And I want to share that with you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compile it into one big video. And then at the end of the video, I'll do a weigh-in. So I'm very excited. Um... I know a couple months ago I was doing um, Avocare and I, I did a whole big video and I was so excited and don't get me wrong, the products are amazing. They are so amazing. The spark is amazing. I love the way they made me feel, but it just wasn't fitting into my lifestyle. I have a problem with taking pills and that's what the majority of the products require is a pill and I just, I can't do it. I can't do it, so I'm doing it on my own, supplement-free, shake-free, and I'm so proud. Now, however, I will, if I'm, like, in a hurry and I need something to eat for lunch and I didn't make my lunch the night before, I will grab an Avocare meal replacement shake, and those help a lot. I just put a scoop of peanut butter in there. Um, <clears throat> but that's the only time I do it. I'm not relying on the Avocare products, so... I just wanted to show you guys what has been working for me. Um, slowly but surely in the last couple of months, I wanted to, I didn't want to be cliche. I didn't want to say I wanted to get healthy for 2014. I didn't want that to be my New Year's resolution. So back in November, I made it a point to just slowly but surely start eating healthy. And that's what I did. And, um, you know, I, I didn't have a scale. Um, and I don't want to be reliant on the scale at all. But um, I stepped on the scale and I was shocked, very shocked. When I got married, I gained 50 pounds. And then out of the blue, I don't know if it's my age, but I tacked on an extra, you know, five to 10 pounds. And you know what? I told myself I would not let my get myself get to a certain weight. And I, I reached it and I don't like it, which is, it's, it's crazy though, because, you know, I went shopping for some new jeans and I'm, in the same size that I was when I was 10 pounds smaller after the 50 pound weight loss, weight gain, they fit so much better. They're actually a little bit loose, but the scale says that I'm 10 pounds heavier and I'm just, I can't, I'm very confident sometimes. I'm very confident in myself, but I'm, I, I can't, I cannot allow myself to get any bigger than I am now. And my husband, he's lost all this weight. He's down almost 75 pounds since we've been married. So, I mean, his weight loss, his weight loss is coming off, you know, very slow, but he's doing it. Um, he's actually out of the, almost out of the 300s. He's like maybe six pounds away from being out of the 300s. So I'm so proud of him. Um, but I don't want him to catch up to me and I don't want him to bypass me because he has weight loss goals that he wants to reach too so um despite what my husband says despite how he eats and the things that he does I need to do this for me and I need to I need to take my health and everything else into consideration especially especially if I want to have a baby I want to be pregnant in 2014 I do you know, a lot of people say, oh, wait till 2015. No, I want to be, I've waited seven years to be a mother. I'm taking charge and I'm taking things in my own hands. And I'm be, I'm becoming, if I'm, I'm going to get pregnant this year and I'm going to have a baby in 2015. I'm, I'll be 26 this year, which is crazy to say. And 
I'm going to be down 50 pounds plus. I'm going to be down the 60 pounds that I gained by my birthday. It's possible. It's going to take hard work and dedication. I know that. But anyway, officially, officially, I started my, in 2014, I started my weight loss journey um, on Sunday, which Sunday was the 6th, I believe, the 6th or the 7th. And um, so far, okay, no, the 5th, I'm sorry. So far, I am down two and a half pounds by myself, no help, no gym. I'm not saying that you don't need to go to the gym. I did go to the gym yesterday. Um, and I was supposed to be going to the gym, you know, all this week, but um, it just didn't happen. But by myself, just simply by making shakes the night before, I drink a shake every morning for breakfast. And then all throughout the day, I have chow mix. Just by meal planning and eating smaller portions, I have lost two pounds so far and drinking water. Um, basically, what I've been kind of following this guideline for the Dirty 30. Um, I'll post the lady's link below. She um, is a cancer survivor and her weight was, you know, she feels that her weight was the reason why she developed cancer. So she developed a program to help people lose 20 pounds in a month. People have lost 10, 15. It doesn't matter. Everybody's different. But she's seen much success with this plan. So we've been doing the Dirty 30. Me and a couple girls at work, we bought it together because you just print it out. And um, I absolutely love this lady. Love her. She gives you words of encouragement. Um, meal plannings, what you should eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and your snacks. Um, my favorite thing is, I'm going to skip to the page, I'm trying to hurry, is my favorite thing is the shopping list, grocery shopping list, I don't know if you guys can see that. And then she also puts out a uh, workout for you guys to do. And then some of the weeks she put in um, workout playlists, which I, thought, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, I have been drinking lemon water like crazy. I know it looks kind of weird now, but I've been drinking this like crazy. This is 74.4 ounces. So I drink about, well, I haven't. I'm trying to drink about two of these in a day. Um, one lemon water and then one just regular water. And then um, another product that I've been using is the Fitbit. And if you're on my Facebook or my Instagram, you would know that I love this thing. Um, I only have one dot today, but basically it tracks your steps. So every step you take equals, you know, you know, a couple, it adds up to, um, a couple miles. I have, um, I'm putting it back on, so I don't want to not forget it. I have mine set to track 10,000 steps a day. That's my goal. Um, I've had this thing for about two months now. And I haven't bumped it up to anything higher because I haven't reached my goal um, enough to where I'm comfortable with stepping it up. But it comes with this cool app. I mean, you can download the app if you want to, even if you don't have a Fitbit, but it's, it wouldn't mean anything to you. Basically, as you could tell, it's looking for, well, now it's syncing to my Fitbit. Um, today, I have walked 1,138 steps, which is 4.5. No, four, almost half a mile. Um, I've burned a thousand calories so far, a little over a thousand calories, but that's it's not accurate. Um, I have my fitness pal, which um, it's integrated together, and my fitness pal, what it does is it calculates the correct calories you've burned. Um, it tells me how many um, pounds I have to lose until my goal. Um, how many hours I slept. I only slept seven and a half hours today. Um, and you can track how much you drink and things like that, but I use my fitness pal for that. Um, and I, I'm obsessed with my fitness pal. I just go in there and track food. Um, and I pre plan everything. So that's what keeps me on track. Anyway, so that's what I've been doing to help everything move smoothly with my weight loss. I'm working out um, here and there. 
I've also been using Instagram for motivation. I'll link a couple people below that I just absolutely love. And I, I sit and wait for them to post things on Instagram. But um, one lady in particular, um, she has a YouTube channel. Um, she doesn't post much, but I'll post her Instagram below. Um, what really made me, you know, get everything in order and what really kicked me in the butt was her, her story is similar to mine. She weighed weighed as much as I do now and by herself with no surgery with no supplement she has lost over a hundred 150 pounds in two years and you know if she can do that I can definitely do that so um I forgot her name and I do apologize but like I said I'll post her information below and I'm excited to be sharing this journey with you guys and I hope that I am able to motivate and inspire people um you know in this YouTube community so um, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I made this video before and it was like 14 minutes long. I don't want that this time. So um, I hope you guys all have a blessed day and I will be seeing you guys in a week. Thank you.